everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo from Gaming here, and today, as you can probably tell, we're playing some more Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today, we're back, we're going to be getting our legendary Wish Orb, which I don't really know what I want from today. I actually said it when we first, when the event came out, that um, I really wouldn't mind, for the first time, I really wouldn't mind character items, because they're honestly the best thing I can get at this stage of the game, since I have all the legendary equipment now. I really just like yeah I would really appreciate 40 like 40 fin cakes or Jake banana splits or even the apples for uh, Hunter Marsman or honestly even just the 20 cosmic essence that would all be great so um I actually kind of want that uh, not quite as exciting last time I got that I actually called it the worst legendary wish hope ever and equivalent to them two common trinkets so yeah I guess I've, my opinion on those items has gone a little better I'm just quickly gonna manage my quest because well you know what I mean, well, th these are important. A lot of people, I get this all the time, so we, it's like my most common answer by far. People will be like, um, well, hey, uh, how, like, how do you have so many character items? Quests! Quests are so easy to use. I don't necessarily focus on them, but like here, I'm doing the event right now, or I'm doing some stage or challenge. I'll just do a quest, because in the meantime, they're just free rewards, honestly, like, there's no real reason not to. You do unlock them at higher levels, but I think you get your first quest lot at, like, level 10. Your final one's at level 50, so that one takes a while longer. Sometimes you get a quest that you probably won't complete, but then the next day, you can just discard it if it doesn't really work. I really, honestly, quests are one of the best features in the game for character item grinding. See, look at that, two cosmic essence! That's really helpful. It's not that easy to get, so, stuff like that, it's really useful. Any of these actually helpful, that's the most likely to occur. Most of them don't end up happening. I get like one or two a day, honestly. I used to grind more with them and make sure I get every quest reward, but that took so long. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, right. I already have this quest. So I used to do that a lot more, but I mean, I don't really anymore because it's quite a bit of work. Ooh, that reminds me one thing from the idol. Getting an idol. idol. Uh, we have enough for level 9 Super Monkey, so I'm quickly going to do that before we head into the impossible game. I'm gonna level up Super Monkey to level 9, which is super exciting. Let's see. I tease Dawson 7. Yes, you do, Super Monkey. Level 9, plus 4 range. <laughs> Base range, plus 4. I mean, honestly, 4 range is actually a pretty significant upgrade, so that's actually a pretty big increase in range. I shouldn't laugh at that. And, you know, obviously another trinket slot. But it does feel a little laughable, even if it's, like, even if it is a fairly significant bonus. Okay, and now, yeah, 7 of 200, and that'll be our first level 10 hero. Eek, that's gonna be an exciting, it's gonna be pretty exciting whenever that happens. It's gonna be quite a while in the future, probably, but that'll definitely be pretty exciting when it does happen. Um, anyways, there was one more thing. We got our quest, I Taste Awesome 9. Look at this. This is I Taste Awesome 10. This will also let me do My Hat is Awesome. This will happen at some point. And then the final quest is I have to use so many powers still. I've been told exactly how to use them. It's through like the one power. Which one is it? It's um these. The Hot Dog Knights, which I have 120 of. So I'm just going to equip these instead of like you for now. One of these days, it's going to be a video where I just like, okay, getting like the last achievements. When I get my level 10 character, it'll be like completing ev the final achievements in uh, Boons Adventure Time Tower Defense. I'll get level 10. Which will also let me get fully equipped character. I'll spend 50,000 crystals, and then I will also use the power-ups. That'll be a cool video. That's probably ways in the future still, because I still need another 193 idols, and I'm probably not going to be spending too many cosmic essence. So yeah, we're going to be getting back into this. I do apologize for a little bit of a gap, the two-day break. Uh, this hopefully won't happen for next week, because I'm going to try my best to have some videos pre-made. I didn't really have the time this week to try to have that set up, because I had to go... I had a busy week, and I didn't really have time beforehand to prepare extra videos, but hopefully this week I will, assuming I'm not too tired, so hopefully there won't be any gaps this week, but I do appreciate you guys sticking around, even with a two-day jump. I do, yeah, so yeah, thank you for that, uh, but there should be constant videos. It's auto start off, it's not, it's the stupid map where they switch lanes. I hate it so much, so, so much, you know I hate it. It's when they switch lanes, it takes so much longer for auto start to just do its thing, because they're like, well, we have to open the next door, we have to play the animation between every round. So that adds one to two seconds per round, which adds up to, like, two minutes. It's not very fun, I don't want to wait an extra two minutes just so you can open and close the door. I don't really care that much, but whatever, it's just how it works. Sexy to Jake. So I actually have been using the premium characters, because 
it's fun and I they're still feeling new like it's been a while I guess it's been closer to a month now but they still feel really new and cool and I still really want to use them so you know I'm still messing around with them these two have treasure chest keys so it works out pretty well um, I'm gonna get Tuxedo Jake now we'll make some money with um, the monkey farm it should go pretty well overall but yeah so today theoretically speaking if we actually did get 40 red apples for uh, Marcelin We'd be really close to getting Hunter Marcelin to level 7, and if that does happen, then well... Well, I mean, we would have another level 7 showcase, which means a one tower only, and an ultra buff, which is pretty cool! And then I might do a uh, twins comparison again- oh wait, no, I already did that, never mind. Um, I might do some other things with it. Having level 7 heroes, that's the big thing I'm waiting for. Uh, unfortunately, Hunter Marcelin's level 7 is the least important of the bunch, because, well, Level 7 just starts to steal even more souls, which isn't bad, but it's not that great. I also just realized I've had um, you ready for way, way too long. Money! Give me the money! Yeah, so money's actually pretty good. I'm starting to appreciate Tuxedo Jake more. Early game. He's not as good late game. That's sort of how he works because he's the only money making. Okay, not only. Uh, only characters. So the characters, all of their money making is based roundly. So, Brofist, um, PV's, like, money script, what's the upgrade called? I have PV right now. Um, Royal Decree, as well as Tuxedo Jake, all of their money making happens based on a round basis. They make a set amount of money per round. Whereas allies like Cobra and Bimo and those types of characters, uh, they make money based off different, like, different statistics. They make money every couple seconds. So because of that, they're based on time rather than round. They can make a lot more money, especially later game. Or in, like, motion games, they can be way, way better for money making. But early game on the, like, starter rounds, like, between, like, round 1 to, like, 40 or even 50, he makes so much more money than them. And I mean, like, he costs a bit of money, but he's really not that expensive, so it's actually working out really well. And I'm starting to like Circular Path way more, in part because it actually doesn't use the full map. It makes it very centralized, and you have a lot more control over Hunter Marston's location. So I'm really liking that path. But yeah, this is sort of just my plan, grinding this out. So I could have actually had this vet done a couple days ago. I've been sitting at 31 blues for, I think, three days now. Mostly because, well, you know, I, I didn't have time to make a video about it, which sucks. But I have been grinding away, so obviously we will get our legendary wish orb today. I have seen a couple of posts so far about what you guys got. But if you haven't let me know yet, or if you haven't finished the event yet, today is the video. Today's video, this is the video that you should probably let me know. I'm most likely to actually see it on this video, since this is the one I'll be looking for for all your legendary wish orb uh, collections. What items you got. If you do ask for advice, I can give it to you. Uh, sometimes you might get lucky and I might respond within like a minute or two. Other times it might take a couple hours, in which case you might not be able to wait for me. But if you want to ask, if you've got a legendary wish orb and you're like, oh quick, what should I do? You can ask. I make no promise that I'll actually be able to respond quick enough, but there's decent odds that I will be there in time. So I'll be able to respond before you get your reward. And just give me a couple minutes. If I don't respond within like five minutes, I'd say, uh, then you can probably just do it. Or if you do want to wait, you can just wait. It's up to you. You can wait. Um, usually if a video just went live, like a couple minutes after a video went live, I'm usually available for comments, quick responses. Not always. Sometimes they're pre-registered and I'm not always there, but for the most part when a video goes up, I'm usually um, I'm usually there to, uh, yeah, to respond. Not always going to be true, but for the time being, that's generally true. But yeah, so if I um, don't respond in like five minutes, though, definitely just like don't wait for me. Just open the legendary wish or pick whatever you think is best. But if you do want advice, I just figured because a lot of people have asked for it, and most I've been able to give it fast enough, I think. For epic wish orbs and that stuff too, it's a pretty common thing where they're like, "Oh, quick! I want to make sure I make it. Don't make a mistake. You have way more knowledge than me. Uh, which one should I pick?" So you can't ask me that if you want. But yeah, legendary wish orb today. This is exciting. Another legendary wish orb. It's always a fun event. These videos get lots of views, which is just nice for me. YouTube's like, hey, 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 uh, your eight legendary wish orb videos, they all have like over like a thousand views. They're making so many views so fast. You're making so much money. Uh, can you just keep doing that for like 25 hours a day? Yeah, only legendary wish orb videos? No, I can't do that. It's an event, which is honestly probably why these videos do so well. It's like, hey, this isn't something you can make constantly. This is limited. 
So how about each video that does really well? I do appreciate it though. These videos, like I said, they're generally some of my more popular ones, which is fine. They're awesome, honestly. I enjoy the videos. They're pretty fun ones to make. Because, well, it's more laid back. There's nothing really intense. We're doing the final level. We open our legendary wish room. Sometimes it's like, oh, a little tense on what you're going to get. But it's a fairly relaxed video. There's nothing too special. Just a quick update. Because some of you guys only watch these videos. Like, only the more popular ones or ones you're more interested with. Which is fine by me, honestly. You don't need to watch every video. That's okay. If you are someone that are like, well, I mean, I like some videos or some games. Or you only come for tips. That's fine, too. Those are a majority of my videos. I do make them fairly often, but not all of my videos are straight up giving you tips. But I do find with a lot of games, they're just watching someone play and learn, especially a YouTuber because they've access to comments and that stuff. They're more likely to learn as they play through the game. You can actually learn a lot of tips through there that you wouldn't necessarily be able to find in other ways. Also, Catchy Tunes, fame, it's so expensive. In total, to get those three upgrades, it's like 10 no, over. It's $12,000, which is a lot of money. Um, but I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's worth it. I don't even know how much of an attack speed boost it is. I'm hoping it's at least, like, 50%, but I have no idea. It could be completely useless. Like, if we look at this, and Hunter Mars thing, I think it's 50% attack speed boost. Maybe it's double. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's really good. I'm no one to judge, but it definitely doesn't seem that worth it. Yeah. Gonna upgrade Cobra quickly because why not? Also, I actually do want to check Super Monkey. I'm full well curious how big of a range increase there actually was. Like, I don't think anything all that drastic is gonna happen. I don't think there will be that big of an increase, at least noticeably. Uh, more noticeable for me because I've been using him so much more. You guys probably haven't seen his range in a bit, but I guess you guys could always just go and watch an older video for five seconds and be like, okay, this was his range with like no trinkets. So I guess no trinkets are just his weapon. It doesn't happen very often. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm really the only one that has a great judge of this. I guess when we did the um, uh, odd slash even challenge, one of them, it would be the same setup. I think it was even, but it might have been odd challenge. Super Monkey, let's see. Okay, so for clarification for you guys, in case you're not sure, I believe his range was somewhere like... Like, this area, his range would have been like just at the edge of it. So from here, he wouldn't have been touching the pillow. I think that's roughly the range boost he got. So it's nothing that massive, obviously. I wasn't really expecting anything all that big, but it's still pretty cool. Do I drop... Do I drop Thought Cannon Wand? Sure, let's drop Thought Cannon Wand. There's no real reason not to. It doesn't make a big deal. It's just like, hey, you want some extra buffs? Here's the Thought Cannon Wand. Woohoo! So there we go. Some, some Thought Cannon Wand. Maybe I'll open some Super Air Wish Rooms after this, after I do the Legendary one. Because uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more Treasure Chest Keys. Not that I need them that well, but those, as far as normal items, like not legendary or anything, those are probably the ones I want the most. But just like, I still wish the legendary or epic wish orbs at least had a chance to get character items. Like, I mean, I understand if it's not common, because obviously it would be annoying if like, oh, you first legendary or epic wish orb and you could only get character items, that wouldn't help you that much. But at the same time, I really wish it was a chance, because otherwise, Shots just become pretty useless, whereas character items, obviously they do, but they take a lot longer to become useless. So I kind of wish you could do something like that. Or maybe there was like a character item, um, wish orb or something, like a weird wish orb you could get. Um, what color would that be? What, leave your prediction, what would you think? If there was a wish orb that gave you character items, or like cosmic essence or something like that, what wish orb would it be? Would it be like the cosmic wish orb? Would it be the enchanted wish orb? Would it be... Like, would it be black or gray? No, we already have a gray. Could be a black one, I guess. We don't have black. We could do... There aren't that many colors. Um, we've used, like, there are, like, there's five wish orbs. It takes up quite a few. Um, what else could it be? Honestly, the black is literally the only thing coming to mind. It could be a black wish orb. But I'm not sure how well that would look if it wasn't Cosmic Essence. Character items. Eek. Um... I mean, commons are more gray, so I guess if we had like a fully, fully bright white one, that could be the character item one. I wish that existed. There's so many things in this- uh, That was way too close for death for my liking, so... You know where I said, hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna put Super Monkey down. Yes, I am indeed. Did we just lose? No, no, no. At least I can continue now. I've gained like 10,000 coins doing this. 
So that works a little bit better. Oh, he has to be in range of Tuxedo J. Yeah, so okay, he'll just be down here. Because I want to make sure he's popping all balloon types, because I don't think he's key detection right now. And uh, that's pretty important to be able to actually hit the balloon, Super Monkey. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. So yeah, I actually have coins again. I can use continues again. That's pretty exciting. I'm actually really happy to have them again. They're annoying to get. This is really the best way to get them. I don't know. This event, if nothing else, encourages me to play the game more. And it makes it so much easier to get character items and trinkets and shards. Like, even ignoring the actual event rewards, they just give you an impop- Like, they give you a diamond chest each time. There's not that many impoppable medals or maps left to do. And even if I do them, they're usually pretty challenging. So, I was gonna say they're pretty challenging. They're not- None of the maps in this game are challenging if I actually bother to make a decent build. But you know, if I want to fumble around with whatever build I already use, or I'm trying to complete a challenge at the same time, then it can be slightly difficult. Not difficult, but slightly difficult, okay? So, I mean, I want it to be, like, absolutely, undeniably easy. So, you know, I have to I have to pick some easier maps. Um, but yeah. So it is nice. Like, just the straight-up rules are pretty good. I love this event. These events are fun. If nothing else, I, like, even though the game's not getting active updates, I'm still really glad this exists, because the events really are fun. I'm still waiting so much for the next motion games. Or not the next motion games. Um, the next Attack of the Clones. Whenever there's Attack of the Clones, I'm just recording, like, three videos. One, or I guess at least two, but probably three videos. With, um, well, with all three different heroes. Like, all three of the premium heroes as the, well, as the Attack of the Clones character. I'm realizing now Tuxedo Jake and Les's buff stack wouldn't be very good because you just have his ability, but I mean, like, I don't know, maybe that would be good for some reason. Maybe, for whatever reason, that would be really OP. I have no idea. But that would be something to try, I guess, if nothing else. Also, bad balloon time. Bloop. Yep, do your job, Dungeon Spin. Just that ability. That feels like that would be super useful. So that'll be a fun video to make whenever that shows up. I've been checking the motion games for a little while. Uh, sir. Okay, I'm confused now. Why is this bad? Why is this bad not dying? Okay, I'm honestly. Con I'm gonna just get some random towers now. I shouldn't have had to use that continue. I'm so confused. I have been doing this before on harder maps than this, and it's been fine. I don't have any extra towers normally. I have no idea why this is not going very well. I have absolutely no idea. Do I have another tech here? I think I actually do. I don't? Okay, I don't. Whatever. And now I forgot to use that, so maybe that makes things worse. I don't know. We should win this. Like, we really, really should win this. But I'm scared now that we're somehow gonna lose again for some stupid reason. We're good, right? We're good, right? We're good, right? We still... This is so ridiculous. I... I don't even understand, honestly. Like, there's absolutely no reason we should... Like, there's literally no reason we have to be losing this. But whatever. C4 Charlie, do you want to make- Why did I do that? Uh, C4 Charlie, I don't even want to hear your stupid upgrade voice. Hey, bigger, bigger, bigger! Hello, I'm a Grinch! My name's C4 Charlie! Seriously, am I the only one that thinks his voice sounds like a gremlin or something like that? I hate C4 Charlie's voice. No offense to the voice actor, but it's so annoying. Also- I hate all of this. I hate this fight. This should have been an easy. Why is this? Why is this being so difficult? This really shouldn't be that difficult. Yet for whatever reason, it's being difficult, and I don't know why. We're good, right? I'm fine. We're not gonna lose for some reason. I think we're okay. Why was this so challenging? This shouldn't have been challenging in the slightest. I don't. I'm trying to play Jake for the buff, by the way. But seriously, like this should have been an absolute joke. I have no idea why that was even the slightest bit of a challenging battle, but it was for some reason. I'm mad, honestly. That should not have taken two continues. This was not a good insight into how powerful I am. Because all my characters right now have one trinket and one weapon from all my challenges, because I'm too lazy to change them back. That's entirely true. I got more idols. More idols. There isn't an event or something, right? It's not like, hey, buy one super monkey idol, get 25 for free. Because I feel like every time I'm getting an item, it's always Super Monkey's idol. And I don't know why. Hey, a free Super Air Wisher, will you give me treasure chest keys? Hey, you actually did. <laughs> I was not expecting that in the slightest. Cool. That's cool, I guess. 
sure. Okay, the rest of these I'm shotting because there's 17 and I cannot be bothered to go through these. I don't even care about these upgrades anymore. I'm sure some of you this hurts if you're like really early game, even the common and uncommon trinkets. Or like the difference of 10 versus 25 shards is a big deal for you guys, but I honestly can't be bothered to right now. Also, legendary wish orb. So these are the items you get, by the way. I completely overlooked those. Uh, everyone gets the same items for this, so those are the ones you'll be getting. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So this is difficult. Because I said I wanted the character items. But at the same time, getting another vampire kit could be really good. It's usable by four characters, and these four are pretty good. It's not like, oh, there's only two characters, so there's no need for extra. I will get one more free one when I complete all four of the Hunter Marsden maps. So if I do take this two, we'll actually end up with three, where the maximum you'll need is four. This vampire king is really good, and he can be equipped to some good characters, like Marcelin, Hunter Marcelin, those are obviously both pretty good. Uh, you'll usually be using at least one of them, because also there's uh, Hunts and Abadio in that case, which is only equipped to those two. But then Sam and Sai are both really good towers too. I'm uh, honestly, I'm gonna take another, I'm gonna take another vampire king, he's really good. I feel bad, because, oh yeah, wow, I get shouts now instead of clues, so keep playing to earn them all. Character items. I don't want shards. I want character items. Whatever. But yeah, so these are the items you get. For one, you get a cool power-up that's not actually that good. Uh, for three, you get a decent uncommon trinket. Five, you get 350 shards, which is actually quite a few. You get a rare trinket, the Sausage Flare, for eight. For twelve, you get 50 gems. Sixteen, you get the Mysterious Cape Bake, which is actually a really good trinket. Uh, Twenty, you get 1,500 coins, which isn't that great. At uh, Twenty-five, your epic is Stone of Ancient Knowledge, which is really good for max. But Max isn't that great anymore, it's still a good trinket, but it's only used for Max, and I've gotten like five of them, because I swear every event gives it to you, so whatever. And obviously, the Legendary Wish Orb, so that was pretty good. Overall, not a bad award. Uh, I could definitely use those, I'm almost never, I say almost never, I don't think I ever really will have enough Vampire Kings until I have four of them. So I, honestly, next time, next time you want to give me a Legendary Wish Orb, I won't say no to another Vampire King, he's pretty good. He probably is what I wanted overall. I didn't think about it. I'm not sure if I actually should have taken it. Maybe I really should have just been like, hey, you know what? Why on earth should I be bothered with that? Let's just, like, I don't know. Let's just go for the character items. But I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to just re-roll it because that seems just a waste. And what if I got something useless? That's at least pretty good. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I definitely don't mind that. Obviously, I could have technically taken the anchors, but I don't really want those. Anyways, three super rare ritual orbs to end it off because even though I have three... I still wouldn't say no to a fourth treasure chest keys. None of these are good. I don't want any of these. Shot all of them. I should have kept that. That could have actually been really useful for, um, actually I already have one, never mind. I was gonna say I should have kept that because that could have been really good for, uh, for Tuxedo Jake, but it's not that important because I already have one. Uh, fifth heart gauntlet's honestly not a bad choice. Five's a lot, but you can equip them to every character, and most characters get pretty decent use out of them, so... Honestly, yeah, like another Robo Monkey Visor too. I honestly, those are some really good trinkets. I definitely wouldn't say no to some more of those. We don't quite have 1500, but we're pretty close. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today. Having a wonderful day. I'm quickly going to check the shop because I always like to do that, even if there's nothing I'm going to buy from it. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribing to join the Purple Elfin Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice and I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to leave any game suggestions or video suggestions, something like that, or just want some help or just say hi, feel free to leave a comment. I, it's nice. I like responding to you guys. And if you give me a good idea and it turns into a video, it's really helpful. So I actually really appreciate it. I don't take most of them, but if I do see one that I really like, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Then it's a really nice video and it's just a nice thing to do. Keeps me from having to think too hard. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.